It's time for the family budget report for December 2018, and we're using the Every Dollar app. So I'm gonna show you what we spent and how we spent it. And, and yes, December 2018 did include our Christmas budget. So we did actually have the extra bonus of trying to stay on track on our Christmas budget as well as our regular budget. Historically, December has been a disastrous month for us. Generally, it's the worst month of the year. So let's see if we crashed and burned or if we held our own. Hey guys, I am Wendy Valencia. We here in the Valencia household are trying to normalize talking about finances because talking about money is super awkward. Talking about financial issues make makes people uncomfortable. And honestly, financial money problems are right up there with infidelity as the highest causes for divorce in the United States. So it's my goal to present my finances to you in an effort to like start a conversation so we can talk about money and then hoping that you'll take that conversation home and start talking about money with your significant other. Or if you're single, you'll start thinking about money and maybe you'll evaluate a future spouse based on their ability to talk about money. I don't know. So in an effort to do that, I share our family's budget every month before the month begins and then when the month ends and they're usually back to back. By doing that, I'm I'm hoping that you guys will learn to have a budget that reflects your personal goals and your financial goals. And what is our number one financial goal right now? Our number one financial goal is getting out of debt and staying out of debt. Now, that may not be immediately where our number one priority lies. Our number one priority right now is health. But our number one financial goal is to get out of debt and stay out of debt for the rest of our lives. More specifically, our much smaller financial goal is to pay off our Navy Federal Credit Union credit card, which is sitting at about 7500 right now. And obviously, our financial goals are going to change over time. You know, after we pay off this card, we'll have to come up with a new financial goal that will fit under that umbrella of getting out of debt and staying out of debt. So if you're new to my channel, it's likely that you're here here to learn how to deal with your family's finances better. So let me introduce myself. I'm Wendy. I'm married to Mauricio and we have a seven-year-old Melina and we live in Vienna, Virginia with my mother in and father in their home. Why we are living with them is a very long and complicated story that I should really just put out there in a video so I can reference it because it really is quite long and complicated why we are living in this house. But 33 months ago, we decided that we were going to live a life free of debt. We've always made our payments and we haven't, we've struggled on and off financially, but we decided that in order to create big financial goals, we needed to get this debt thing gone and out of the way. And so in those 33 months, we've actually paid off $188,000 in debt. We chose to focus on our largest debt rather than our smallest debt first. So now we've kind of moved on to a traditional debt snowball to pay off our debts in order of smallest to largest. And we're super flexible with that, but for right now, we're paying off our smallest debt next. So let's go over, over what we have in the budget. In our housing category, we spent $270 on our storage unit and say it with me, if you want to know why we have a storage unit, I'm going to point you to the eye in the sky. So just click on that video and it will explain why we have a storage unit. In our utilities category, we spent $187.87 on our cell phones and that is because we did get our cell phone lowered in December down to $170 and then I had a $17 charge for roaming expenses while I was in Belgium. And we had $25 in there for Skype, but we didn't use it. So that money is getting rolled over to next month. We spent $417.20 on groceries. We did not spend anything on school bucks. 
We spent $64.81 on lunch one day at Red Robin. And the reason I wrote it like that is because I always hear this whenever I write or say Red Robin. Red Robin. Yum. It's kind of catchy. It's like an earworm. And then eleven eighty five at McDonald's. In the transportation category, we spent thirty four twenty one on gas, and we did not spend anything on our Easy Pass. So that seventy dollars will also get rolled over to next month. In our insurance and tax category, we spent two twenty one thirty one on USAA car and renters insurance. It has recently gone up. So I thought, I thought maybe in November when it started going up that it was like my last bill and I had like uh, screwed up some of the payments earlier that happens, but it looks like they have given me a rate hike. So I'm paying a little bit more now. Then we spent $91.65 for life insurance for me. $12 for life insurance for Mauricio and I, and then $35.83 for Xander life insurance for Mauricio. In the health category, we spent $11.40 on Mauricio's medicine, $44.95 on Weight Watchers, $540 at Melina's first specialist, $50.56 on medication for Melina, $35 for her second specialist. I had a neurology appointment for $177.79 and Mauricio had medication for $10.59. In our savings category, which is our sinking funds, we have $1,000 for our trip to Columbia. We saved $200 for summer camp for Melina for next summer, $150 for medical, $100 for car repair replace, $100 for Christmas, $100 for an emergency trip to Columbia, and $50 for miscellaneous school expenses for Melly. In our personal category, we spent $41.95 for iTunes because we rented two movies this month. We spent $14.95 for Audible. We spent $3.99 for Amazon Music and $99 for our Amazon Prime annual fee, which is totally worth it. If you know anything about me, I'm an Amazon file. I love Amazon. I, oh, I'm so brand loyal. In the Melina category, we spent $6.08 for before and after care, $74.25, which was prorated because of the holidays, $210 for Spanish classes, we did not spend anything for Melina's miscellaneous school expenses and $342 for Christmas break camp. So the two weeks that Mauricio and I are working between Christmas and New Year's and when school starts, she's going to camp on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of those weeks to ice skating camp. So we spent $342 on that. We also registered for girls in politics with her Girl Scout troop, which is $84.39. It's like a day-long, kind of like camp sort of thing, but it's specifically for girls who are six and seven years old, and it's on Capitol Hill, and it's really cool, and it's it's really kind of hard to get into. So we registered for that, but it's not until I think April. And then we spent $40 on school bucks. So in our cash category, we spent $200 on blue money, $25 on a haircut for Mauricio. We did not spend anything on Sally Beauty and we spent $125 on our family outing. And that was all cash. In my YouTube category, we spent $4.50 on TubeBuddy, $5 on Backblaze, $9 on Morning Fame, $21.87 on new ear pads and a headband for my headphones. So let me tell you really quick, I am like so stinking proud of this. So I have these really great Beats headphones. They're like professional headphones that I use for editing, but because I wear them so much and they're, they're on the older side, the pads started disintegrating. And I noticed while I was in Belgium, I would have this white stuff like all over my face from the pads. And it was driving me crazy because anytime I put them on, I would get this white stuff and it was really hard to get off. And so what I ended up doing is I spoke with Apple customer service because Apple is the one who actually owns the, the Beats headphones. 
And I asked about getting them, sending them in and having them change the pads and the, the headband part because they were falling apart. And they said, we won't do that, but we'll give you a discount on some new ones. Well, they were going to be $100 off $400 headphones. It was still going to cost me 300 bucks. And I was like, um, yeah, I'm going to look online. So I got on my favorite YouTube university and I started looking and I found about 10 million videos that showed me how to change them myself. And so I went on Amazon, I bought new ed ear pads. Now there was no way to change the band, but I found this adorable headband that I put over it and it looks like a little sweater and I love it. And I am just so proud of these now. That was a huge financial win this month. And then I spent 113.51 on HostGator. What does that mean? Wendy's doing a website. Yep, I'm gonna start a blog. Um, my plan is I'm doing the whole thing myself and I'm a perfectionist. So I anticipate it's going to be like six months before this thing goes live. But if you go to wendyvalencia.com, you will see, hopefully if I've done it right, you'll see a coming soon and you can put in your email if you'd like to register to be notified when that site goes live. But my plan is to do two videos a week and one completely separate blog every week. And it'll be like the lifestyle kind of thing, you know, that I'm doing here. And then I spent $27 and 30 cents at a secret place that I cannot tell you because it's coming and, and I don't want to spoil the fun. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so cool. Seriously. I'm excited. In light of me starting a website, I did register to get pictures taken with Mauricio and Melina and I paid $77 for a Groupon for that. And then $12 for our undebted annual fee. And then $1.15 to send somebody a letter in the mail who does not live in the United States. All of the people I mailed letters to this month were in the U.S. except for one. And so I wanted to send a letter to them as well. In the work expenses category, we have nothing for parking. 66.23 for my Franklin Covey, 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 I don't know, planner. I buy the same planner every year because it's just a work thing. I spent $292.83 on my work trip to Brussels doing Uber and, and some other stuff, but I'm getting reimbursed for that. So that's just in there for tracking purposes. And then I bought Pilot Pens G2. I bought a lot of them because I go through a lot of them for $27.96 and yes, the government does buy us pens, but I'm very particular about my pens. So I buy them and I buy them special. So I know when they disappear around the office that they're mine. And I have been known to go and grab the pens back from people who have stolen them from me. And then in our online cushion category, initially I spent $102.56 at Target for new undergarments because I desperately needed some. I mean, seriously, desperately, but it did not work out. I ended up returning all of them. So I spent $61.86 for face and lip oil and oil for Melina has really, really bad eczema. I use um, a combination of jojoba vitamin E oil on her back because that's where she gets her back and her sides. And so I use that. I spent $7.95 for a desk calendar, $41.14 for a nail kit. And that came from my blow money. So I actually deposited that money back in. I actually took my whole $100 this month and put it back in and you'll see why in a minute. So I did try the Rossi nail kit and I'll let you know how it goes. If it goes really well, I'll do a video, but I have horrible nails. I mean, horrible. I spent $16.49 for a little jacket, which also used my below money. I spent $9.79 for a six pack of CarMax. CarMax, CarMax, not CarMax. CarMax is where you buy used cars. CarMax is medicated lip balm <laughs> because during the winter, my lips get super dry and they crack and it's horrible, but Carmex fixes it every time. So I keep them, I keep have like one on my nightstand, one by the sink, one in my office, one in my desk, I mean, everywhere. 
So I'm constantly using them and it really helps. And then I bought three blouses for $53.82, but returned all three. So that was credited. We spent $17.55 for a new lunchbox for Mauricio's because he his was falling apart. We spent $28.61 for some bins for toys for Melina. Several of the things she got for her birthday for American Girl doll have little tiny pieces and I'm getting tired of stepping on them because they hurt worse than Legos. Goes. Not even kidding. So I bought a four pack of little bins for her to throw in on her shelf, and they're really cute and seem pretty durable. So I really like them. And then I spent $17.99 for a large bin to go with the rest of her bins in her closet for her pajamas because I don't know where the pajamas have come from, but they're like spilling over the small bins. So we have now the big bin for the out of season pajamas and the little bin for the pajamas that are the winter pajamas. And then in our cushion category, we spent $39.10 on toiletries from CVS. It is what it is, you know. Mauricio needs hair gel and toothpaste. And then we spent $42.39 on a remote control thingy. I don't know. It's a gamer dork thing. And my husband's a gamer dork. But something about being able to fast sniper. I know there's a couple of you out there that will understand what it is. But he likes to, to do fast sniper and snipe and jump at the same time. I don't know. It's a thing. So he bought this thing. In this month's budget was our Christmas budget. It was incorporated in there, but it was completely separate because it came from a totally different pile of money. So if you wanna check that out, I did two videos. One video I go over, I will link it up in the eye in the sky right there. And I go over in detail what we spent, where we spent it, how we spent it, who we spent it on, everything. What months we spent it in, I'm not even exaggerating. It's detailed. In the next video, which I'll link up here, I went over what we actually got with that money. So it's two totally separate videos. I was going to do them together, but it was going to be so crazy long that I decided to do it that way. This month, we put $4,346.95 to debt. That makes me happy. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.